Hello, everybody, and welcome again to Leaders Uncut. Uh, this is Catherine Oaks, your host. And today I have the pleasure to welcome Bobby Brodney, who is the founder and CEO of Launchpads. Hi, Bobby. How are you today? Hi, Catherine. Thank you so much for having me today. I appreciate it so much. Yeah, no, my pleasure. So, Bobby, tell us about uh, Launchpads, why you created Launchpads, and what this is all about. Sure. So Launchpads initially started out uh, in my beginning of my marketing journey when I I was working in filmmaking and I was doing full time filmmaking and working on all sorts of different film shoots and TV shows and um, music videos and all sorts of different things just to try to become as well rounded in the film industry as possible. And then this uh, little little company called Netflix came out. And I decided then, I was like, you know what? They're gonna own their audience and I need to figure out this marketing thing. So I kind of jumped into marketing um, head first and I still do filmmaking and that's still part of my, my operation, um, which is kind of cool because I've gone through a few iterations with Launchpads and, and the, the most recent iteration is um, I've become a monday.com partner and I'm helping companies to implement and um, optimize monday.com for their entire operations um, and then what's really cool is that i have a history with hubspot so i'm working on establishing a hubspot partnership as well so that i can kind of work with both softwares um, on behalf of clients that's wonderful that sounds great so tell me i know you've explained a little bit but what is the, the biggest main differentiator that you can offer out there and what is your target audience? Well, working in the Monday ecosystem for the last few years, I'd say one of the main differentiators I bring is my my skill set when it comes to the film industry and the entertainment industry and the sports industry. My actual business acumen around these different um, you know pieces of the puzzle and applying it to newer softwares and newer project management softwares, I think is one of the, the main things that sets me apart. Mm -hmm. um, Furthermore, my ability to, my willingness to go above and beyond for the client and make sure that I'm not doing something because it's going to keep me roped in with the client for, like, I would rather work as hard as I can to get the client to a point where they can improve their systems and processes and then profit to continue to move forward instead of roping them into having a confusing system or having a software that they don't use or that their team doesn't like or gain value from. And I think that I've come to find in implementation world is, is really challenging to find. I've worked on both sides of it. So I've worked on the side where I've been part of the private equity group and I've been part of the company that is hiring the implementer. And I've also been on the side of the implementer who's been hired to do the work. So. Um, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Wow. What um, I'm sure you've faced a lot of challenges. It's always difficult when you start a business. What are the biggest obstacles that, that you had to face? I mean, every entrepreneur knows there's just, I mean, there's just so many things because you, you think it's going to be this one path and then it, the reality of it is something totally different. I think for me personally, like on this recent re reiteration of my business or relaunch, if you will, of my business, um, it's been slowing down my sp spending because I I needed to generate more revenue in order to kind of balance out the spending because I own all the entirety of my business. I don't have any backers. I don't have any people giving me money or funding or anything like that. So I had to kind of invest forward and making sure that I didn't overspend and overstep um, in this meantime where now I'm actually starting to generate revenue. I'm actually starting to bring on clients now that I have my own systems and processes in place. Um, that for me was it has been and continues to be a real challenge. Uh, also being able to, to balance the mindset of like working in the operations and then at the same day working on making sure that I continue high, you know, sales activities and making sure that I'm doing my prospecting and doing the things that are, you know, kind of similar to going to the gym, you know, that you got to make sure you get in there. Even if it's just going in for like a 30 minute workout, it's like, it's still so crucial because when you miss like a day, then it becomes three days and then it becomes five days and then it becomes like two weeks. And then you're like, 
man, I haven't been to the gym in like two weeks. No wonder I feel like crap. You know, it's kind of the same thing when, when it comes to sales activities I've come to find. I so agree with you. I always say uh, launching a company, it's really a marathon. It's not a sprint. You, you have to take care of yourself mentally and physically. You have to find enough balance so that you can keep going for the long term because it is why most people give up. They overstretch, they lose faith, uh, they lose the, the, the physical and mental health that is critical for them to keep going. So that's what you're saying is very important. And I think a lot of people are not fully aware of that. And that's something that needs to be emphasized. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. So tell us about your priorities for the next year or two. I mean, right now and over the next year, my main priority is to bring in some clients that I can really provide a massive return on investment for mm -hmm. to the point where they are willing to and I've worked on some really awesome accounts like I've worked as part of other companies and as part of other partners I've worked on some of like these massive you know enterprise accounts and I've also worked on some of the coolest like little you know companies where there's maybe like seven to 15 people mm -hmm. so I've worked across the board and and it's it's not you know it, it it goes both ways like these larger companies they have smaller teams that take the project management software and they apply them and so i, I it's not to like go and say like oh i worked for you know all of netflix when i just really worked for like one partner of netflix that was using monday um to help optimize so it's it's not like you're going and saying like i worked for this massive you work for the massive organization in like a small realm um, but really being able to find some of those realms where I know that I can provide a ton of ROI are, is my biggest focus um, as I'm doing my outreach and as I'm doing my, my reps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are the, the biggest opportunities that you see laying ahead and how is the economic and political environment impacting what you are working on? Well, the first thing is, is everyone's got this obsession with AI. <laughs> Like you cannot make it through a day without being marketed something about AI or seeing some sort of AI generated video. Mm -hmm. And I think there's like a massive state of just overwhelm and like, I don't know, I don't want to say that it's panic because it's almost like after COVID, it's like people, I don't feel like we, I don't know if we can panic anymore. Mm -hmm. I think that was like our panic button hits at the max. But um, I think that the reason like a lot of people are like why did you choose monday like there's so many tools there's asana there's ClickUp, there's all these different kinds of tools it's like why did airtable everything why did you choose monday and i i always go back to the fact that i'm like you know when you look at the tool when you first get it out of the box it's one of these things where there's there's very it's very simple and there's not you have to do the customization and the reason that I chose Monday is because when you get it tailored to what it is that you're doing in your work world and your life and like the things that are attached to what, what you're doing, it is the most user-friendly software that I've been able to find. And for for people like think about it, like in this market, like in this day and age and what we're what we're living in, especially in Southern California, we don't really have time to like mess around mm -hmm. like i mean think about like the price of everything right it's yeah. we don't have, we don't have time to like tinker with all sorts of different tools and all sorts of different things so once monday is dialed in it's this tool that really becomes where it's just like you think of something and it's there and you know when you need to do it by mm -hmm. and it's so easy and you can look at it in whatever kind of way you want to look at it and you can keep track of all the different things going on in a complex organization from one really simple spot and in a different way than like i've worked with in depth with ClickUp, i've worked in depth with asana i've worked in depth with airtable i've like gone through the ringer and like really seen how these softwares operate and i still choose monday because of of the fact like i said that it's it's best for the end user Mm -hmm. um, it, honestly, I think it, it really adds to somebody's work and their work-life balance and, and all of that stuff. So I'm, I guess, does that answer the question? Yeah, I kind of no, no. took it around yeah. that way. No, no, no. I <laughs> think that, that... It really is. It's about the end user. Like, it's about the people that, like, don't want, like, 
you you want to be seamless like when you have an experience when you're going like let's say you're traveling somewhere and this is totally separate but like when you're going on an airline like you want to like feel like a certain kind of way like why is virgin atlantic so successful like think about it because people like go in and they have this experience and it's almost like you're not really flying like you kind of feel like you're just like part of this like awesome little party in the sky and like richard branson created this like genius way to go about and like compete with all these giants you know and it's like to me that kind of stuff is inspiring and like so when i build these systems i'm constantly thinking how can i build a system that is going to make it seem like an experience for people that they want to come into this mm -hmm. like how can you onboard a team of a hundred people into a software and make it so that everyone is like wanting to be part of this like experience that is like their work and is managing their work so right. i mean that's been for me like during this journey i've been working with like with the monday software platform now for i think over three years so and then i've been working with like hubspot excuse me hubspot now for i think i'm coming up on like seven years since mm -hmm. i started with hubspot mm -hmm. so i've been working with these softwares with and, and, uh, and implementing them for quite some time now and um yeah, I might actually be underestimating. I can't really remember. Time flies. But when you're yeah, not. time time goes by. Well, you mentioned a few things that are a few key words that are critical. Experience. People are looking for an experience, and it has to be easy. It has to be simple. Use very user friendly, and it has to be sustainable in time. It has to be uh, scalable as well, right? Right. It has to adapt with their changing processes, especially in companies that are constantly evolving in order to keep up with this market. I mean. You know, like I was talking with this entertainment, um, it's kind of like an entertainment slash events company in there. She's the CEO. She's trying to, she's like, I want to grow, but I need more space so that I can store these, these gigantic sets that we have. And I need to store all these costumes. And, but I also like want to grow the number of jobs we have. And it's like, I'm like, look, like all these different things going on in your head, like it's, like we can divvy up these different things that you want figure out action plans notate how long they're going to take how much it's going to cost create the different options and the different scenarios and and this this tool could really help you i literally just spat that out and she she was like about it and now we're now we're rocking and rolling mm -hmm. yeah no that's great so how can people help you buddy i want to be part of people's i want to just be the the uh, supporting character in other people's story so if people are looking for good supporting roles, that's what I'm really into in the, in the sports and entertainment industry. If they know people, the thing that's great about Monday is that you don't have to apply it to sports and entertainment. I have clients in the e-commerce space. I have clients in the uh, manufacturing space. So like product development and that sort of thing. So the, the software is and in the private equity space as well. So the software is very flexible. It's, it's designed to be that way. Um, which is kind of why my where my agency really sits and, and focuses is like in that in that realm. Um, so I guess you know, hop on a call with me, like take an hour and let me see if I can show you how this software might be different than one of the other, like whether you're using Trello or Asana or one of these other tools, or even if maybe you're using one of those tools, hop on a session and I might be able to help you make something more efficient on that other tool. Um, or someone on my team might be able to help you make something more efficient to help, you know, save some money here, save some money there. I mean, that's kind of what we're all about. Okay, great. So what is the best way to connect with you? How can people just, connect with you? Yeah, just the website launchpads.com. That's with two Ds. Okay. Um, and there's, you can book a, a consultation. Consultation is kind of like, a, it's, I feel like it's kind of, it's like a strategy session. Don't say strategy session. Don't say consultation or strategy session. Breakthrough session sounds Right, I like that. I like that. That's very, first of all, easy to remember, but it's different. So this is a good idea. Thank you so much for having me today. Like I'm, this was really a great experience. And I, I hope that the, uh, the viewers enjoy the time and know that, you know, I mean, I guess this specifically as I, as I part, like one of the things I wanted to say is it's just like for everyone who's working on a business and you're you're by yourself or you're with a small team like just know that there are people out there that are willing to support you and that want to help you know because that we know what it's like to go through like i know what it's like to be in a large organization and i also know what it's like to be on your own all the time and um 
and have those days where some days you just don't want to do the thing that you know you have to do and I know like I'm we're we're all kind of in this together so that's kind yeah. of like again I really appreciate you having me on the show and uh, no, no you're welcome and this is why I'm doing what I'm doing everybody needs exposure and I think it's important to see the world as your oyster and not as your enemy because a lot of people are scared and they think, oh my God, I'm not good enough, or maybe what I'm saying is not going to be relevant. Well, let's. what's important is to go out there and just speak, speak out, because you, you some, don't need to be perfect. For some people, you're not going to be good enough. Yeah. That's yeah. the reality of the situation. But for others, you're going to be like a, a light send, if you will. Yes. Meaning someone sent you from outer space. Like Elon was just like, go over there and help this person. And you're a light send. Um, so yeah. to some people, so it's just you gotta just find your cup of tea and, and mix it. Or cup of yeah, and not be not be scared, like you said. Just go out, and you will get some feedback that will be valuable. Uh, that will also um, give you some uh, information to improve what you're doing, which which is critical because if you live in your little world and you don't share anything, there's no way you will be able to improve anything at all. Right? Thank you again so much. Yeah, you're very right. I agree. Yeah. And thank you again so much for having me. I, I really appreciate this experience. It was great. Well, you, you're welcome. Thanks again. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we will uh, share this video on uh, LinkedIn as well. And we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.